And I'm just gonna be doing throttle only right now. This thing, whoo! This thing books it. Oh yeah! So I can not crash here. Woo! Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. All right, coming up to a nice steep hill up here. Let's see if we can. Oh, I'm super excited. This is like a small bike, but for bigger people with tons of like power and awesome features. So let's unpack it and check it out. So super excited to be testing this bike out. I've been waiting for this one to come. I'm just gonna cut this open right here with my trusty Leatherman. There you go. Hmm, I actually really like the feel of that. It's almost like a little bit of a leathery. It's got some good cushion to it, so. Keep cutting away, cutting away, and freeing everything from the prison of packaging. I like using a drill, but I'm lazy, but it comes with little wrenches and stuff if you need them, but why not, right? Pop my seat post on. All right, so the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about with this e-bike is the size. Initially, you think it might be small, like from the pictures and from, um, you know, everything that you see and read. And, and it kind of is, like the, the whole body of it's kind of short. And then you got these handlebars to stick up. So in some ways that looks a little bit funny, but at the same time, it kind of feels bigger as you're riding it. And you, when you ride it for a little bit, you realize it's for a full size person. And I mean, sure, it'll work for, you know, a medium sized person too, but it's not a kid's bike. And you initially think, hey, this might be for kids. Not so much. Serious off trail. Rough road riding. Let's see what this thing's capable of here. Cause I mean, anybody can do okay in the city, right? I mean, any just random paved, you know, sidewalk trail. And if that's all you're ever gonna do is a little sidewalk trail, then honestly, it doesn't really matter what bike you're getting, but what you really wanna test bikes is kinda how they do you know, in tougher situations. And that's what I'm all about, is testing these bikes on just some serious rough terrain here. The motor on this bike is a 750 watt motor, but they programmed it, the controller, so that it actually boosts up to 1200 watts of power max. And so even though it's technically a lower wattage motor, it produces a lot. And you can tell the difference when you're, when you're riding this thing and it's, it's fun. 20 mile, 21, no pedal, full throttle. I'm just booking it, so much fun. Just turning. This thing is, I feel comfortable enough. I could just cruise over any train on this bike. Let's do it, check this out. Woo! Full throttle, dodging the rocks here. Open I don't crash. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Let's show you guys how fast this thing goes from zero to 20, okay? So I'm gonna punch the throttle, ready, set, go. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. You can see that in the sun there, 16, 18, 19, 20, boom. That was, <laughs> that was pretty fast, honestly. And that was just throttle only here. So uh, the other good thing about, um, that really gives it the speed is that 52 volt on that that output from the controller and the battery you're getting 52 volts pumped into that motor and so you can just really cruise along and, and i love it it's a lot of fun and why not i mean sure you can put the pedal assist on a one or a two and you can just have a little bit of power but if you want that power it's there all right Woo! <laughs> so much fun. Just that rush of just, ah. You're telling you guys, I've ridden a lot of 750 watt e-bikes and um, a lot of times they don't give me quite the power I need and this one 
definitely, definitely helps. Woo! Just booking it on these trails. Okay, I'm coming up this hill here. Throttle only, here we go. Oh, yeah. The battery, I love how the battery just fits right inside the bike. Uh, the battery is a little bit smaller than some of the batteries. It's a 16 amp hour battery. Um, but it actually, the way they programmed it, you can actually get a lot of distance out, out of it, up to 68 miles. This bike comes with the Shimano eight speed uh, transmission derailleur. And I love having all the gears there so you can just shift between, you know, what you need. This bike has, of course, the full hydraulic brakes, um, nice disc brakes. It's got two pistons on the front, two pistons on the back. Um, as you can see, going down some of these hills, it's, it's got some good brakes to it, and I've been really happy with them. I'm over 200 pounds, and it was stopping me just fine. And I don't think most of you are ever gonna go down hills that steep. I mean, I'm just, I'm on really quite the grade there. And camera doesn't do justice what I'm showing you, but it's, <laughs> it's some steep hills and the, those brakes are doing, doing really well. So I really, um, they did a good job with those. So the other cool thing that this bike has that a lot of bikes don't have is the torque sensor. I really like the torque sensor. It's like, a lot of bikes, when you start pedaling, that just gives you full power. And the torque sensor, if you don't know what that is, as I'm pedaling and I put a little more pressure on the pedals, it gives a little bit more power to the battery or to the motor. And so as you're pedaling along and you pedal a little bit harder, a little bit harder, the motor starts working harder. And I, I love that about it. And in my opinion, it's the only way to go. Um, and this bike, for the price, you can see the description below for a discounted price. It is one of the best bikes I've seen for the price range. Just cruising on some paved trails here. Just rushing around these corners. Of course, hoping nobody runs into me, but Kind of like to pull it back and do some little wheelies. <laughs> My wheelies are like uh, little two inch wheelies. I'm not good enough yet to be one of these guys that just book it, you know? I love how it has the full suspension. You've got a nice setup for the rear shock. You can replace that so it's easy to exchange if you want something better. You've got your front forks. Um, there and again, I was going on some serious bumps and it was handling it really smooth. Ah. Woo! Just love hitting those bumps when you're going super fast. It's, it's got a good suspension system. I mean, I realize it's not like Fox shocks or something, but for everything you'll be doing with this bike, it's actually pretty smooth. As you can see, um, I can just fold it up and I can just put it into uh, the back of my SUV. So it's nice and compact. If you want to just um, compact it down, store it in your house. That's one of the coolest features about this bike. They did a really good job with being able to just unfold the whole thing and just throw it into your car, whatever you, <laughs> wherever you need to store it. So a few things that I wish that they did better a little bit is and you're charging and you're plugging it in it's a little bit stiff like hey i, I kind of wish i was just a little bit smoother you kind of have to jam it in there a little bit not that i feel like it's going to break but when you're putting that charger in, it's just like oh hey like you know is it in or not so and then i don't really like this part of the design but the key you have to um the key has to stay in there and the key's on the bottom side so you're almost worried it's going to fall and it, and it, it doesn't because it's like the key locks into place but I just don't really love that about it. Again, not a game stopper. And last but not least, um, when you ride this thing and you like look at me riding it, I, I don't quite feel as manly. A and again, um, just because of the smaller tires, you know, I'm one of those guys like you have big beefy tires and you kind of want to just hit those big trails. But again, don't let that stop you because that's not really a game changer. It, it feels good when you're riding it. 
and and it, you don't even necessarily feel like it's too small for you when you're riding it you you kind of feel a little bit cool but with the smaller tires it almost looks more like a scooter instead of a you know an e-bike as you're riding it but um again don't let that stop you it's i'm really happy with it and if you're going with this style of bike this is honestly the best one that i have seen especially for the price so anyway links in the description Hope this video helps you guys out. Hit the like button. Thanks for watching, guys.